I have a surprising little story that I'd like to share. With all the experimentation I've had with all types of coloring pencils, Prisma color pencils have a distinct color application. Since I only had a small set, my next goal was to acquire the 150 set, but that price tag was over a hundred dollars. In my pursuit of the 150 color pencil set, I ended up using a neat chrome extension called Honey to track cells and discovered that there was a sale for them in July 2023 for $89. So about two months fly by and I'm really starting to get frustrated that I can't find these pencils at that price point. That led to me sharing my frustration frequently with others. And one day I'm told, I haven't used my set since 2019. Why don't you just take my 150 set? It was like this pencil set flew right out of the heavens. And about a week later, I was almost in tears of joy as she brought it to me. Now with that backstory, please join me on my journey of taking an inventory, filling out a 150 coloring chart with my Prisma set. Let's get started. Wow. Check these out. I was gifted this from an incredible young lady that is an artist. So I thought I would do my first swatch. Looks to be six trays. First, I think I'm gonna colorize these and possibly sharpen them. And it's got two different levels. I always keep it on the lower. Let's get some better lighting. I don't really have a really good system on my colors. I guess it would be more about the rainbow. But I know there's gotta be better system out there. I'll have to keep searching for it. One empty tray. I like how all the browns and greens are together. This is like the forest. This is nature. It's kind of a neat idea. I've been thinking about doing that for a couple months now. Last tree. Next up, I'm going to sharpen everybody. Here's peach. That's right here. Deco peach. Ooh, is that two peaches? Oh, I did light peach. Oops, I did light peach there. This one is 
Ooh, I like that name. Clay Rose. Ooh, I really like this color. Wow, that is so pretty. It's like a plum, pale plum. Rosy beige. This one's not bad either. Next up, pink rose. I like to see this being a rose color. Beige. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I like to do half so I can see how it layers. This one's nectar. Ooh, I bet you that would be look incredible for portrait skin tones. Deco pink. So exciting to see color palettes from different pencil brands. Blush pink. Kind of has a cotton candy pink, I would say. Beige Sienna. Ew, this is a oops, this is a weird looking color. I could see it being in a maybe desert tone. Seashell pink. Mm, this is kind of not, like a pastel tan. I've been really enjoying using tans lately. Well, there's the beiges. Where's the putty beige? Okay, I'm gonna do the process of elimination. We'll look for that later. Eggshell. I've heard some people talk about these colors too. Not all of them though. I've never heard anything about some of these down here. Like this clay rose, I never hear anybody talk about that. Oh, this, so this, I want to know what this brand is. I want to look this up. Everyday Essential. Put it that one aside. Putty beige. You would think that it'd be around here, but maybe it's with the grays. Oh, there it is, there it is. Putty beige. It's actually a really neat color. It'd look pretty with the clay rose color. There's some reds in here. So I'm going to pull out the reds tray. Okay, here's my reds. Let's start with crimson red. Oh wow, I like that one. I think I have this color in the little small set I have. Ooh, so pretty. Crimson Lake. Scarlet Lake. More of an orangey red. Raspberry. Mahogany. Mahogany is not here. Don't hear it. Here it is. It's on the bottom. Mahogany red. I usually do rectangle for my chart, so I actually like the change. Dark purple. Not here. Magenta, one of my favorite colors. It's almost got a watermelon pink to it. Permanent red. It's not even on here. Permaviolet. Oh, it's up here. Carmine red. Wow, this is a nice color too. Poppy red. Neon orange. Wow. That is 
actually really vibrant compared to the other pencils, like the cheaper budget ones. Pale Vermilion? I don't know how to say that. I guess that's how you say it. Ketaminian and Orange. My favorite type of orange. Mineral orange. I've heard of this one before. It's kind of a muted. It's not bad, but I do like this one better. Orange, orange. <laughs> Sam and pink. Oh, I like this color a lot. But these two are pretty nice together. Goldenrod, my favorite. It's almost a, the same color as a mineral orange one, you know. Yellowed orange. I've been working with the Artex budget pencils lately so much that these feel so soft compared to them. And I really, really, I'm actually in love with the that brand right now. So the fact that these feel so buttery, it's almost, um, makes me want to try these in a, another book soon. Or Spanish orange. There you go. The funny thing about pencil, coloring pencils, is like the harder you press them, the more they seem like marker. And you really get them down on that paper and you these pop so beautifully. Sand. That's a pretty color too. Fun to learn these new names too. Canary. I would say this is the fluorescent color. Now that's more fluorescent. All right, so we've got a lot of color still not on here. Parma violet. I really, really like this color. This is like the Artex Wisteria color. I like that color a lot. It's like a grayish purple. Modern Metallic. Ooh, I can't wait to swatch that guy. It's pretty. Imperial Violet. I love Imperial Violet for the Artex series. This is not on this page, so we'll wait. We're gonna keep hunting for the items on this page. Getting into the grays. What are these? Ginger root, here's one. These break so much more than Artex. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and call this one. Sure, I can come back later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we've got Dahlia Purple. Ooh, that one's totally my kind of color. Neon Pink. Pink. That's the funny thing is the Artex pencils do feel really soft as well. Just not as soft as these. Process red. Ooh, that one is totally my kind of pink. If I'm gonna do pink. Works good with teal and purple. 
hot pink. I found some more yellows. Deco yellow. Neon yellow. Wow, that one's definitely beautiful. Yellow trees. Or trucha And cream. We'll put this aside and start with our greens. Since they are over here. Pill sage. That's a neat color. Chartreuse. I always hear people talk about this and I've never heard of it until now, really. After all those years. Sap green light. Oh, this is a cute little minty green almost. Like a faded minty green. Light green. Ooh, this is kind of a real minty green color. <laughs> when I think of mint color, I think of this color. True green. And this breakage is because I did, well, because Prismacolors do break, but I kind of sharpened them too much. I was in a hurry to sharpen them. Spring green. If you're curious about this chart, I can leave it in the description. Kelly green. Ooh, this is a nice color too. Pine green. I would say it's a kind of a pine green. Apple green. It's my dog. It's raining today, so the dog is pretty upset about not being able to go outside today. Lime peel. Yeah, these are one of the, some of the greens that I don't like. Let's see, grass green. This is my kind of color. You can see why it was used a lot. Oh, Persian green. That's a nice evergreen or foresty green color. Peacock, here we go. Yeah, they're gonna be beautiful. Look at that. Marine green, dark green, kelp green. Moss green. Olive green. Shade green. Grayish green. I like this one a lot. Celadon green or Kel Caledon green. Muted turquoise. Oh yeah, muted that turquoise. That's a mysteriously beautiful. I don't think that'll be on here. As we look up here, it's, let's see if I can pull some of these purples that I had earlier. Imperial violet. I love that color and periwinkle. Perfect. See if I can keep that in order. Like a, gosh, I wouldn't say that's dark purple at all. It's too pinky. Now this is what I'd say more of a dark purple. 
violet. Imperial violet. Ooh, oops, I forgot to color this one out. Violet's beautiful too. The imperial violet's got more of a just a pizzazz to it. Periwinkle. going. Here's my favorite stuff right here. This is my world right here. Cobalt turquoise. Wow, that's a beautiful day. Parrot green. Powder blue. Where are you, powder blue? Pretty cool color. Cloud blue. Sky blue light. Blue violet lake. Blue slate. I would say this would be with the grays. Caribbean Sea. Blue Lake. Light. Solarian. Is that how you say it? Sol Solarian. Solarian. <laughs> Mediterranean. Ooh, this is a neat one. Non photo blue. It's a neat one. True blue. Peacock blue. That one is so pretty. So, Lillarian blue. <laughs> it's funny how I don't know how to say that. Oh, this one's like a neat blue. I would totally wear this color. Blue hue. China blue. It's got that royalty blue color almost to it. It's very pretty. Indian throne blue. Ooh, that's like a navy blue. It's a little bit of purple tint to it. Copenhagen blue. Indigo blue. You can never go wrong with indigo. Dioxin, purple hue. Violet blue. And ultramarine. Perfect. All right, so let's go to the grays and browns. Black cherry. Green ochre. Okay. Let's go to the browns. Chestnut. 
I really like this color. It's got that peachy tone to it. Terracotta. This one's always cool looking. I think I have this on my other set. Sienna Brown. Pumpkin Orange. That is so pretty. I can't even get how beautiful that is. Burnt Ochre. I know I'm gonna like this one. Tuscan Red. Pretty neat color. Light Umber. Black Raspberry. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Dark Umber. That's a really cool but brownish, well, umber. Chocolate. Warm gray. Look at that. This one is se sepia. I love filling out charts. 90% French gray. Now oh, look at all the French grays. Seventy percent French gray. And sandpiper, sandpiper, sandpiper. Is that what it says? All right, that tray is done. And we are getting close to the end. I think this is the last tray. Artichoke. Yay, I found it. Bronze. I love metallics. And whenever I get a pencil that has it, I freak out. Because it seems like they're so limited. Um, they're so gold. Oh, the gold's actually kind of cool looking. Thirty percent cool gray, <laughs> like an icy gray color. That's kind of. Yeah, I thought that said thirty percent cool gray. Oh, this was twenty percent. <laughs> Oopsie. Ten percent warm gray, warm, warm, warm. Where's my warms? This guy is probably gonna break. See the tip? Thirty percent warm gray. I'll be careful. And that's the thirty, right? Yep. This one might great break too. Thirty percent. Twenty percent warm gray. Fifty percent cool gray. That's definitely a gray I'll be using. I like the deep charcoal grays. Seventy percent warm gray. Yeah, if I could, I would get a lot of probably the fifty percent or this color. I love charcoalish colors to put them against teal and purple. 70% cool gray. Thirty 
We are getting almost done here. Espresso. White here. Make sure I see it like that. Slate gray. I like using this color a lot and other pencil brands. Man, this is really, really dark. Got more blue tint. 20% this really cool color. 10%. 10% cool gray. Ninety percent cool gray. Yeah, this is a really incredible set. I'm not missing that many. So we've got Pomegranate. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine missing, but man, look at this. Yeah, that is really an incredible set. So now I'm gonna hunt to see if these nine are in a small set. At the moment, I've got nine missing and eight that are low that I'd eventually want to replace. I thought I'd go through my little stash here. I think I got the 24. Oops. Yeah, it was a 24 pack. Cool, so we're gonna go shopping in my own 24 pack first. And I am using some of these colors for a project, so that's why they're not on here. That means I really only need seven pencils, right? Seven pencils. Now, from this area, So that makes it only five pencils that I'm looking for. So if we do the seven plus five, 12 pencils I'm on the hunt for. I'm gonna go look on that Blick website. So it ended up being $15 to replace some of these. I do wanna get the Amethyst and Orchid as those are gonna be issue long term because lilac and lavender is getting discontinued so the orchid and amethyst will replace those if i buy 12 or more which awesome enough i only need 12 i get them for a dollar 25 instead of a dollar 39 that means i'll get some extra blacks and some of the other colors that i know i'll frequently use so that's pretty exciting to have something where it only really cost me $15. Awesome. I got some open stock pencils from Blick, and then I got a new case, which I really, really like. I figured today I would go do inventory of what I have with the new pencils along with the previous set that I got. This thing has a little area for blender on top. Let me see. Right here. I'm going to put the blenders in here, which aren't sharpened. I'll sharpen one of them. So this is that side, so I'll sharpen this side. We are going to face them this way. Let's do this to make life a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, I've moved around some stuff. Moved the green over here. I put the peaches next to the red so it won't bother me as much. Let's get to the yellows.
very cool. I am gonna flip them real quick, all of them really, and then I can find them in the future. What this story taught me is that when you do hold out, sometimes things appear right out of the heavens, just like this set did for me. I hope this video brightened your day in some way. Until next time.